Hey everybody! In this tutorial, you will learn how to get value of the clicked button in JavaScript. We will write a script which is effective, modern, and easy to understand. Our application is going to behave like, as you can see on the screen, the clicked button value is read by the program. So you can use this script to program applications like a calculator or just to give user options to select one of them, right? Let's now move on and study the HTML setup first. So here we have our HTML. As you can see, I'm using four different buttons. HTML is going to play a very important role here. I want you to focus on IDs and classes. As you can see, all of them are assigned an ID and an ID will always be unique. Every element must have an unique ID. So by using the ID value, we can select any specific button in the JavaScript. For example, if I want to select the button number four, so I will just use this ID, BTN4, right? So this is how we use IDs in the JavaScript. But the key value here is the classes. As you can see, all the buttons have the same class. And this part is important. As they have the same class, so we can select all of them at once in the JavaScript. Uh, with the help of query selector all method. When we select several elements at once using query selector all method, we usually get an array of nodes. And once we have elements in the array, we can automate the process and operations. So this should be the key thing here. All the buttons must have the same class. Let's now move on and write the JavaScript. JavaScript file is already attached or linked to HTML. And here's a file we are going to write by JavaScript here. So the first thing that we are going to do here is make selection. Select all the buttons at once using the query selector all method. So query selector all method is going to select all the elements which are assigned uh, BTN class. And we already know there are several elements containing BTN class. So that means this method is going to return an array, right? So this variable is not a simple variable. It's a variable of array type. So we can check it out. Just log the value. Now refresh the page and open the console. And so here you can see in the console, so we have got a node list which contains four different buttons, right? Node list is not actually an array. It behaves like an array. And it's another discussion. What is the difference between an array and the node list? So what we see here, we have selected all the buttons that we have in HTML. And they are placed uh, in the node list in the same order they appears in the HTML. And here you can see the index value. Our first button is at index 0. Our second button is at index 1 and the last button is at index number three. That means we can even reach a single or a specific button by using the indices. For example, instead of printing out the entire node list, I can just print out the button which is at index number three, right? Which is the last button. So if I refresh my page, so you can see we are pointing to the last button, right? Button number four. So now we have make selection and after selection, we are going to register uh, click events to all of them. So how do we register event? In modern JavaScript, we register event with the help of add event listener method. And we need to call listener method to all the components we have here in our array. And for that, what we actually do, we call for each method uh, on the not list. For each method, calls a function once for each element in the array in ascending order. And we code it uh, in a way like you see on the screen. BT is for each variable, and here we have the function. So the for each method is going to pick the first element from the node list and assign that element to the BT variable. And then call this function to the element which is just assigned to this variable. So this BT variable is going to represent all the buttons we have in our node list. In the first call, the first button is assigned. In the second call, the second button is assigned, right? And it goes that way. So for each method is actually looping through the node list. 
So what we are going to do here, uh, register the add event listener method to all the buttons. Very simple, right? So we are looping through all the buttons and assigning a listener method to them one by one. Now our buttons gonna respond to the click event, right? We can check it out. Now refresh the page and click, and here you can see all the buttons are responding to the click event. Let's not code further. Here we have a problematic scenario. We have four buttons, right? and all of them have their own click event the function they're calling is the same in other words four different buttons calling the same event handler the problem is how does this function gonna find out which button is calling me i hope you understand the problem and to solve this problem we have something called event object in the javascript Event object is just an argument which is passed to the function and has the information about the element raising the event. So in order to use the event object, we can pass it to the function. And here I'm using the letter A, or you can use any other letter or the word. For example, you can also write event here, right? So this event object argument which is passed to the function has the information about the HTML raising the event and the property which is used to get that element is called target right so now if I run this application you will see the button element raising the event so let's now refresh the page when I click on the button one so you can see button one raised the event in the button one in the JavaScript when I click on the button number four button number four raised the event and here you can see the button number in the JavaScript. So now we are very near to the solution. We know which button is raising the event and which button is actually clicked. But we don't need all the information here. What we need is just these values. To get the value, we are going to simply call the inner HTML property to the element. Inner HTML property is going to return this value that we have right here. Let's now refresh the page and click on the buttons and here you can see now we are getting the values right away. So we have solved the problem. The last thing that you need to do is take a variable outside of the function. Let's say choose number and assign the value of the click button to that variable. So this variable is in the global space and it can be used everywhere in the program. And so finally, we can log this variable, refresh the page and check it out. And here you can see our program is working perfectly fine. So friends, that was a simple tutorial about how to get value of the clicked button in the JavaScript. I hope this is gonna help you out in your projects. I will see you around. Thanks for watching.